Hey everyone, welcome to Message to the Movement. This is the five minute version of a 20 minute version that we've already recorded and sent out as well. And you're welcome to look at that because I believe it is a very timely message for our whole movement. Right now, God is fulfilling many of your prayers, plans, dreams, prophecies. Now is a season of fulfillment. Galatians 6, 9 says, Do not grow weary in well-doing, for in due season we will reap if we don't faint. So if we don't give up, and sometimes I know it's so challenging, and you might have felt like you're in the middle of the fire and you feel like giving up, don't. Because it's going to be fulfilled. The plan of God will come to pass. You've tried 10 times. It might be that 11th time that it's going to break through. You might have tried a hundred times. It might be the hundred and first time that you knock on the door that something's going to break through. I've been in these situations and faith is persistent. It gets up again after failure. Plus it develops emotional resilience. Right now is your season of fulfillment. God is bringing to pass dreams and plans and prophecies that have been in your heart, that you've heard, that God has spoken to you. Now is that time in Jesus' name. I have no doubt about it. We are in a season of fulfillment. Now listen, every one of us have a purpose from God that we're involved in and we might find sometimes that it's difficult to see the end. But listen to me. Over in Philippians 1 verse 6, Paul says he's confident of this that he who has begun a good work in you will complete it until the day of Jesus Christ. Whatever God has begun, he finishes. He doesn't, he doesn't leave works unfinished. Jesus said on the cross, it's finished. Paul said when he was at the closing days of his life, I've finished my race. There is a, there is a call that God has given every one of us. And by the way, you're not here by accident. You're here on divine purpose. You're here with a divine plan. You have got unique gifts. No one else has lived your life. There are people in this world that need to hear your story, that need to he receive from your gifting. And there may be, there may be, it may be a lot of people, maybe just a few, but God has got this divine plan in mind for your life. And understand this, Romans 12, 2 says, be transformed by the renewing of your mind that you may prove what is that good and acceptable and perfect will of God. The will of God is good. The will of God is acceptable. It fits you perfectly and it's perfect. It's right time. It comes to pass in the right hour, in the right place, and you will love it. God is love and you'll find that when He calls you to do something, you will love doing it. One of the most incredible uh, calls of God that are in the scripture. I mean, there's many. There's Samuel when he was a young boy. The Lord said, Samuel. And he said, here am I, Lord. Speak to, my, speak to your servant. There's, there's Moses at 80. So you're not too young and you're not too old to be called by God. Out of a burning bush, the Lord said to Moses, go, set my people free. Noah, it, it might take a long time to fulfill the call of God in your life. Like 120 years? He spent building that ark, preaching every day. And then there's Jeremiah who felt he was too young. He didn't believe in himself. But know this, that when you don't believe in you, God does. And so he, he, when, when God said to Jeremiah, I want you to go and do this and, and speak to the nation, he said, I'm too young, Lord. I'm only 15 years old. And, and there's, you know, all these people, Mary, she was pretty young, maybe 15 be it unto me, according to your word. She surrendered to the Lord when he said, I'm going to do something that's considered impossible. You're going to have a child without ever knowing a man. The Holy Spirit is going to come upon you and you'll give birth to the Messiah, the Son of God. Some of the most incredible stories of how God sent people can be found all the way through Scripture, especially Joseph. Remember, he was sold as a slave by his brothers, and then he was accused of all kinds of things. And then he was forgotten down in Egypt. But the Bible says God sent Joseph. In Psalm 105, it says God sent him ahead of his brothers so he could save his family. There's all kinds of ways that God sends us. 
For Joseph, it was a very unusual way. For most of us, it'll be just simply surrendering to God, putting our hand up and saying, I'm, I'm ready, Lord, I'm available. Serving in the church that God has placed us in and serving in the community. There we will find our destiny. And I'm praying for you right now that the Holy Spirit will guide you into that good, acceptable and perfect will of God. God bless you. Have a fantastic Sunday.